This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to calibrate your DX8 with your uh, XA30E helicopter for the NASA V2 as well as uh, learn a little bit more about your control mode switches and your IOC intelligent orientation controls. So first off you're going to start by turning on your radio and plugging in the power to your helicopter. Now as you can see we have uh, our control mode switch right here it's going to be on the flap gyro this is controlling the GPS attitude and manual um, so you want to make sure that these are set properly so first things first you go in servo setup um, this is also in your fail safe tutorial but you make sure you're on AUGS 1 make sure both values are about 85 percent um, and basically they'll highlight both the GPS the attitude and the manual so make sure all three are highlighted when you flip the switch now if for any reason when you f um, switch the flap gyro to the very top and it's on manual what you want to do is you want to go into the AUGS 1 you want to go over the AUGS 1 and click travel and you want to adjust reverse and you'll basically reverse it, the switch if it's for any reason on the wrong one but uh, for us we have it set correctly so we're good um, then you want to start by clicking the calibration so uh, as you can see right here make sure your aileron when you move the aileron stick which is left and right on the right stick when it goes to the left A goes to the left and elevation up down up goes to the right down goes to the left same thing with your throttle up goes to the right down goes to the left, rudder, left goes to the left, right goes to the right. If for any reason they're mixed up, adjust the sides accordingly so you can either reverse it or make it normal. Um, so once that's set, you click start. As start is going, you can see all the little uh, stuff that are jumping around. Um, basically bring your sticks to all four corners. So you want to make sure that it hits every single corner. Now the reason for this is to basically adjust the end points for each of your uh, stick points on your radio. Uh, every radio is slightly different so these can all differ greatly. Uh, once you're done you'll see that they're all set. You want to make it so that they're relatively in the middle. The only one you have to slightly adjust is the throttle. So get the throttle as close as possible to 50%. Um, I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but once you're done click finish it'll say after calibration whatever you click OK and as you can see everything is relatively lined up now um, the next thing you want to check is go into the advanced and you click IOC now this is your intelligent orientation control you want to have it checked on now we set the intelligent orientation control onto your F mode switch so uh, this is shown um, in some of the earlier tutorials but basically you want to make sure again that if it's at position 0 it's off if it's position 1 it's course lock position 2 it's home lock if for any reason it's reversed you're gonna go um, into your servo setup you're gonna go to reverse and you're gonna go to gear because that's what it was set on and you would just reverse it in here and basically it'll come out to how you want it on the screen but again make sure that it's on zero and it's on off and that's how to calibrate your radio with the NASA V2